Vietnamese versus Cajun, it's Crawfish Wars! So where do you begin when talking about crawfish? Well, you gotta start with Louisiana crawfish, and there's no place we could think of better than Raging Cajun. You know it by the big crawfish on the roof. The way we like to do it is we use red cayenne pepper or red pepper, okay? Black pepper, garlic powder, chili powder, and salt, and we do a crab boil to start with. We use lemon juice. So if you're at home cooking this and you just put the boil in, the crawfish boil, you still need to add more spice. That doesn't do all the work. What I tell all my friends is whatever y'all are thinking, triple it. Because <laughs> look, look at this. This is the secret to success right there, boys. So another way you can have your crawfish is Vietnamese style. Troy Huynh is with me and you have a different take on these. Yes, I do. We kind of give it a little extra kick, so we add some other spice, they call it butter into it. But you have your own trade secrets on how you do it, too. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure everybody does. Well, let's get these guys in some water and, and get this process started. So your first pot is actually a seasoned water. It's a seasoned water. <laughs> I just want to make sure they're down. Perfect. Anymore. And they go into the Correct. main broth. And what's in the main broth? The main broth is basically a celery, uh, orange juice, bay leaves. It's a spicy boil. You can see it's making a froth at the top. Yeah. And that is the love right there for the, the love. Profit. <laughs> right, here they go. Oh, bye, boys. Eight minutes. After eight, eight minutes, minutes. full, they're ready. When they float to the top, they're done? Yeah, just like shrimp. How long do we let these guys go for? I'm going to let it sit for seven minutes because they're bigger than usual. I go by the size. If they're medium, I cook it less. I don't want to over to overcook them. But there's always a final taste test. Then I'm going to put the uh, garlic butter seasoning in. I'm going to put a little Louisiana rub. There's our cayenne pepper. Now it's to squeeze the lime into it. <laughs> we both Back got out of the way. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Yeah, it gets hot. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Get off. That's beautiful right there, man. Supper time. Perfect. Now a little corn and potatoes. You're good to go, sir. Good to go. And that right there is Cajun-style crawfish. So now the best part, we get to taste it. But I couldn't do that alone. So I invited our good friend, Cleverly Stone, the diva of all things delicious, Hello. to taste this with us. Ooh, I'm stealing that from you. Take it. Ooh, that's impressive. Look at all that delicious meat, y'all. Here we are, building culinary bridges. Citrus, the garlic, I can taste it all, the butter. And then on mine, we've got more of the cayenne, the red, and then the garlic coming at it. Same crawfish, two different flavors. Wow. And both awesome. Ooh, they really know how to get the most out of each crawfish, don't they? <laughs> well, whether it's Vietnamese or Louisiana, crawfish is in season and delicious to eat.